the Hardys are back. They are in. They are back, reunited. Not the Hardy Boys. The Hardys are back against you know similar faces. The Private Party man. Um, you know, it's it's still kind of surreal to see the Hardy Boys in AEW or just the Hardy Boys in general kind of paired up. And you know, if you're following BT, I love watching BT every Monday or Tuesday, and they did this funny skit and they were there and it just like the crowd is so over for them. And this was, this is such a great character refresh for Matt Hardy. And yeah, I love the big Matt, a big money Matt stuff. The HFO, the AHFO was kind of just kind of like, where, what's your direction going here? But now it's like, man, I'm team Hardy. Give these guys gold. Let them have one last run because I'm all for it. I mean, if that's where we're going to get out of AW, I mean, I, I think they deserve it. And you know, this tag team division right now, as one, as you have said, kind of put back to the back burner for the women's division is yep. now so overfilled of talent in a good way. You know, you're talking House of Black, the Hardy Boys. We have Red Dragon. Uh, you know, now we have Daniel Young and Bucks. Like, there's FTR, a lot of tag teams the that are. Stays, yeah. Jeez, just when we saw that those 15 man uh, casino battle royales were like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like the teams just keep coming and coming and coming. Brother. Um, and that being said, I feel like the tag team division is so strong. There's not a lot of really huge breakout single stars at the moment. I think the tag team division is at the forefront, in my opinion. It's stacked, bro. Yes. It's stacked. So, I mean, you, you, I'm, you I'm name a part, lot. I'm a party fan. Yeah, and, and I thought that this worked well. I thought we saw yeah. – an, a little edge from private party. I thought, mm-hmm. you know, Isaiah was really going in after Matt. Um, we saw their trademark uh, charisma. I loved, I loved uh, their mocking of Jeff at points during this match as they isolated Matt. But this was about building that hot tag for Jeff Hardy. And oh there, yeah. There was the crowd at one point was just going nuts. We want Jeff. We want tag I mean, team it was, booking one on one. It was perfectly executed. You know, right. and you mentioned the potential tag title run for these guys. One last run, icing on the cake. I mean, these guys would add another notch to their belt, another massive uh, accolade for a Hall of Fame. You know, so they're going to go down as one of the greatest tag teams ever. Um, Can argue that. I mean, truthfully, they are. And, can't. you know, it, it, there's a lot of matchups in AEW that are going to be big for them. But I know that everybody is dying to see them against the Bucks. You know, the brothers versus yeah. brothers. Uh, that's so a dream for much, them, too. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Even I mean, even for the, the young Bucks themselves, it's going to be a dream come true for those guys. Idolizing the Hardy Boys. I mean, the – the, the writing is on the wall, Jeff Hardy pun here, but the writing is on the wall that <laughs> this is this is only the beginning. Um, these guys, Matt Hardy, to your credit, man, I agree with you. We just got done talking about Jericho and how he re- continues to reinvent himself, continues to stay relevant, continues to just con- – just it feels like Jericho just gets – as you start to see him slip, he just finds a way to get over again. And Matt Hardy – Credit to him, a creative guy, incredibly intelligent, yep. has found a way to stay not only relevant, but at a point now where he where he and his brother are in a situation where they're in the deepest tag division I've ever seen, and there are going to be people who are clamoring for them to get this title run. Yeah, and, you're right. I mean, for them to remain that over – and that relevant for as long as they have since we were kids. Yeah, um, I agree. Pretty, I mean, that that's, I got to give them a lot of credit for that. I mean, we got to give them some props for being able to find a way mm-hmm. to maintain that. I mean, Jeff has always just kind of had this natural charisma to him, mm-hmm. but Matt has, Matt has really had to use his creativity to reinvent himself and remain relevant. And I love that. I love where they're going with it. The AW tag division is a tag team guy, man. The AW tag division is just absolutely bonkers. Um, we could spend you could just spend minutes talking about You're right. just listing the teams. Um, but it's gonna be fun to see vet- a veteran team added to this division. 
Um, we have a lot of young up and coming teams in this, in this tag division, another veteran team that can help set the bar. Um, and it's going to these every time they step in the ring with anybody, it's going to be a, a dream match for that other team. You know, right. they, the Hardy boys are such staples for the last 20 years of tag mm-hmm. team wrestling that um, I think that there's going to be a lot of, a lot of moments where you're going to be pinching yourself <laughs> as you see them go toe to toe with, with the FTRs, with the young bucks, with, with the Lucha brothers. I mean, you're going to see some incredible matchups that come out of this. Um, can't wait. This was a convincing win by those guys. You know, um, Matt's offense. I really like the side. I like the side effect. I like how he delivered it with emphasis tonight. Really looked rejuvenated with his brother back, um, and, and Jeff hitting the Swanton bomb. I mean, that's that's goosebumps moment right there. So loved it. Thought it was a, a great match, and it it brought the energy. Man, the crowd was. You could tell the crowd was so pumped for the Hardys. A perfect. Uh, crowd-pleasing match and a perfect appetizer to 